Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. It's Wednesday night. Um, we have a big show tonight. I have everybody grab a glass of wine and sit down. We're, we're going to chat. Um, we have um, some, uh, it's Work in Progress Wednesday, so we're going to celebrate our online communities accomplishments for the week. Um, we have Katie from Zomco, uh, a very cool modern quilt designer out of Colorado, Denver, Colorado. Um, she's going to be joining us here in a few minutes. And I've got some updates for the website and for our opening, our regrand opening tomorrow. Y'all, I don't think I'm going to bed tonight. <laughs> like, because I think I'm still going to be working, but <laughs> all right, let me I want to say hi to just a few friends that we're going to get rolling pretty quick because we we have a lot of stuff to do tonight. So um, I'm going to pull up my feeds, maybe if I can get my stuff together here. Uh, we, uh, some of you might be saying re-grand opening. What do you possibly mean, Darlene? Didn't you just open your retail store? I did. I did just open a retail store. And then um, about six weeks ago, we were told we had two weeks to get out. So uh, that started a whole new um, search for a brand new retail store, brand new build out. Um, we've been kind of unofficially closed for the last month and we reopen tomorrow. Yay. Um, it's been a crazy ride. I would like to think for a second that I've learned some lessons along the way. And I have like what works and what doesn't work. I, I was truly nervous, nervous as being generous about this transition uh, uh, initially. And now I think it's going to be kind of great. And I'm really encouraged by all of you. I had some fantastic conversations this week with people. You guys just make my heart happy. I mean, all of you have just make my heart happy. Um, okay. I'm just almost to my feeds here. Katie's waiting in the wing. She's going to join us in just a minute, but we had a little, we had a little try business this afternoon. So I wanted to get through, oh, good Lord. I don't want to see what the new pages experience looks like. <laughs> Silly Facebook. <laughs> oh, no, that's not it. Um, let's see. Here I am. Okay. All right. Oh, there y'all are. Hey guys. Um, okay. Let me go out to Facebook or YouTube, YouTube. Um, there, there, there. Oh, nope. Didn't want to do that. Go back. <laughs> Someone should take the computer away from me. <laughs> okay. Let me say hi. Minnie, hello. Minnie, you have a pretty turquoise machine. I found that out today. Beauty. Uh, Pam is on. Hi, Pam. Hi, Missy. Hi, Megan from Oregon. Franny's on. Robin from Baltimore is on. Hi, Robin. Um, yes, it is hot in San Boyd today. I know this because my signs were hung and I was out there sobbing in front of them. <laughs> I'm I'm a softy. Okay. Uh, Sandy's on. Kay. Hi, Kay Webster. Scored my first featherweight folding table. Nice on Sunday at an antique store, but it was crop. Are you trying to say crop? Uh, hi, Elizabeth Sowers. Hi, Maggie in the background. Okay, real quick. I cannot show anybody the store tonight. Reagan has threatened me within an inch of it in my life. I'm not doing a walk around because that's what tomorrow is. So tomorrow at 4 o'clock, I'll be back on 4.30, 4.30 for a walk around 4.30 Pacific. Um, let's see. Debbie's on from Kentucky. Odie's on. Hello, hello. Jennifer's on from Reno. Nancy's on from Lake Stevens. Kathy's on from East Texas. Marsha's on from Indiana. Joe and Mel. Hi, guys. Kathy Zoka's on. Pam Ernest. Uh, Kim Polson's on. Uh, Pauline's on. Tavi's on. Hi, Tavi. Linda's on from Tennessee. Da, da, da. Karen's on. Hi, Sweet Pea. Um, ba, 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 ba. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to just roll through. <laughs> okay. Uh, do, 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 oh, Cindy Matthews is on. Bernadette. Oh, Bernadette has, oh, Katie. Oh, hold on. I'm going to get Katie. Everybody say hi to Katie. Hold on. Let me just do this. Ah, uh, how do I do this? There, there. Nope. Come on. Silly. Ah, there she is. All right. Everybody hi. say hi to Katie. So we have lots of good information for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> my my girls all came out in droves they're oh hi polly in the uk thanks for saying hey um she uh so everybody this is katie from zomco 
she is fantastic. I I'm just glad we're kind of friends, y'all, because she's going to be super famous. And if I would have found her when she's super famous, she would have been like, Darlene who? But she knows me now, so. We're <laughs> wild. No, yes, we are definitely friends. I'm so excited to be here for my third time now. Yay. Um, okay, so I just have to show you something real quick before we get going. Look what I have next to me. Oh, yay. Look, new class. I have a gal who's teaching, we're calling it slow hand stitching. Boop, boop. And she's doing like this confetti thing in the middle instead of what you did on your sample. But look at how fabulous that is. That's gorgeous, man. She did a great job. I know. She really liked your pattern. Um, you're teaching this too um, in Colorado. I saw in your newsletter today, right? I am, yeah. I have a few classes at Trilada and... Um... We were going to teach the pillow and then she asked if I would do some some hand quilting as well because of the stitching and it's caught a lot of people's eyes. So it's at Trilada um, in Inglewood, Colorado. I'm teaching in class in September and October. Good for you. Uh, now, are you like a teacher by trade? Like, how do you feel about this? <laughs> you know, all my life I wanted to teach um, until I tried it. <laughs> And then I was the like, scary, yeah, right? that's a hard no. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I, 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 I appreciate everyone who's taken time to teach me what I know with anything, including quilting. Um, and I, you know, I want to be able to pass it along. So I'm excited about that. Good. Uh, Franny out on YouTube wants to know if the, um, if the classes are online, I know Katie's is not, it's an in-person class and mine right now is an in-person class, Franny, but I am trying to encourage my teacher to turn it into a Zoom class. Um, I got like in, fully invested in Zoom during the pandemic. And although it's not my favorite, like, um, me, you know, a method of teaching, it really is effective. And especially for people that live in parts of the country where they don't have access to, um, to good quality education and, you know, that it's the only thing they have to do. So I'm still working on, I'm still working on my gal. Um, she's just not, um, she just isn't really comfortable yet. I think I, if I show her how easy it is, um, I think she'll come along. So who, oh, she said, boo-hoo, sad face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it is a different, I feel like you have to, you prepare differently as well when you teach on Zoom versus when you teach, yeah. teach in yeah. person. So stay tuned, Pam. Yeah, I, um, I a couple little housekeeping items, gals, uh, before we get too much further down the road. Um, first and foremost, I want to say from the bottom, the bottom of my heart, how truly like almost speechless I am about the outpouring of love for a fellow a tribe member who's been a viewer for a long time. She's having some very serious um, and concerning health problems. And um, I interviewed her last year on another show uh, during the, during the shutdown on the second second COVID winter. Um, and she, um, she's just, uh, so what we did is we're doing a, a card writing campaign where right. Where everybody, almost two dozen people wrote in for Judy's address to send her well wishes, um, in the form of cards. And so, um, yeah, it's, I am. So none of this whole program was supposed to be about me. I never wanted any of this to be about me. I wanted it to be about these machines and the community that loves these machines. And so when I see things like what happened on Monday night happen, it makes me, it makes me first of all, thankful that it's not really about me, but, but more thankful that these women that are watching the program right, right now, Katie, that now know you and now they're your people too they rally and they, and they love and they encourage. And it's like the best quilt guild that you never would naturally find yourself in the same room. It's pretty fantastic. Um, anyway, did you, Oh, where'd you go? Oh, there she is. Okay, good. 
Sorry about that. That's okay. Problems over here. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, that's okay. The Wi-Fi's. Anyway, you have gremlins in your uh, Wi-Fi's. That's what people would say if I was having that. Um, Anyway, so really, truly, thank you, online community tribe, for for just leaking love on Judy. She really needs it right now. And you guys, um, we really touched her. She sent me an email, which, of course, made me sob. So, um... I appreciate that. Oh, we lost Judy again. Oh, there she is. Okay. Not Judy. Katie. Katie, are you there, girl? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We Not should probably day. get to the tips and tricks before we lose you again. <laughs> All Not right. Over here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay. First of all, give us the story. Tell us how you found your little beauty. What's her name? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I did get a featherweight and completely inspired by you and um i'm sorry your viewers, you're welcome your team and i um yeah i mean since the first time i met you and folks were like does she but does she have the featherweight <laughs> you know um and i've been asking around and i've heard you know oh i used to have one in the basement i sold it or anything like that and none of my family members i don't believe at least the ones i've asked didn't have any um and so I found a lady here locally um, to kind of like look at look at a few. Um, honestly, I didn't even really have to look. After talking to you, Darlene, I kind of had in my head that and, and you know, a little, little bit of Google. I told her some of the things I wanted, um, mm-hmm. which, again, I, I know very, very little. <laughs> so well, if I gave you that list of what I wanted, tonight. you may laugh. Um, anyhow, um, her name's Wendy and she, and she had one, um, and she's like, Katie, I think I have the perfect fit. She was supposed to sell it like the week before and the person backed out. And so it kind of just kind of felt like it was for me. Um, I named her Gloria. Uh, <laughs> um, so the lady who bought it, I'll show, I'll show you one second. I, I know the answer anticipation is real, but the lady who I bought it from, she said she names them. Um, based off of the the skew or like the tag is like it's a m and then the year the they letter. were born yeah yeah so my letter is g and she she oh. says like because i was needing a little help i was like struggling like i have a bernina and i named her birdie and that was like no problem yeah. i knew the name immediately easy but this one <laughs> took a little bit and so it's a she's a 1946 is when okay. she was manufactured and so i kind of googled like popular 40 girls names because I just wanted a girl's name um and Gloria came up and it came up repetitive on the different google searches and then my husband loves modern family and we love Gloria oh my <laughs> gosh I love that and so it kind of just came full circle is she a, yeah. is she a Colombian a featherweight <laughs> she, I think she is <laughs> Um, but they yeah, do have some I pretty will. sexy curves, and so does Gloria on, you know, on Modern Family. I, so I understand the correlation. I like that. Yes. Okay. So here she is. <laughs> oh, I'm look at how pretty. My camera here. Oh, oh my gosh. She's so pretty. Um, so my favorite part. Okay. So my first question is, do you hold her right here? Yes. That's how you carry her. The The lamp is the lamp in front is not a sensitive part, but it's a machine part. You don't really want to put a lot of pressure on that. So if you have to like flip her back, flip her on her back to look at the underside, you want to look under her skirt, then you don't do it forward. You do it backwards. You you never put her down on her lamp. Does that make sense? It does. Yes. Okay. Um, So I love this plate, the design on it. The, yeah, that those Celtic scroll plates were more common during uh, the before the war. But mm-hmm. I think because it's a 46, it was probably a leftover. That's a weird noise, Ray. Are you on your... There, do you hear that? Do you hear that, Katie? There's some weird um, noise. Do y'all hear that weird noise coming through my thing maybe not. i don't know what you're doing okay Oop. okay she'll be back in a second all right so um she's birdie that's what elizabeth sour said <laughs> katie will be back here in a sec 
Uh, anyway, I think her Wi-Fi connection is bad. Do, 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 do. Maybe, maybe she'll come back. Oh, you did hear it, Tabby? Okay. Weird. No yeah, the weird noise is gone now. Hmm. I don't know. I do not. Sounds like someone's eating. <laughs> How did you guys know? <laughs> Yeah, Christine said, yes, it's the gremlins. <laughs> oh, oh, here she is. Okay, guys. Oh, no, it's Katie. Because the minute... No. Oh, okay. Ooh. Are you there? Yeah. You know what? Turn your volume down a little bit. I think it's my feedback. Okay. Does that help? Yes. Can you can you hear me? I can. I mean, there's still a weird sound. Yeah, because the minute terrible. you jumped I'm off, it went away. I've never had this problem before. <laughs> um, it's back. Everyone says it sounds like aliens. All right. I think what we're gonna do is I'm probably I'm gonna have you jump off and then. I'll give you your tips and tricks. So jump on to Facebook or YouTube and watch your tricks. And then, cause I don't know what that noise is, but it sounds like, um, it sounds like there's some, well now it's not doing it. Do you hear it now? Yeah. We'll just, we'll just wrap up real quick then. Okay. And now I don't have to keep dealing with it and making your sh short longer. So I just want to, let me just give you one more view of her. Yes. Yes, um, while my oh, phone so is working. Pretty. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's 1946. Yep. And um, how she runs like a charm, as I'm sure you guys were all expecting. <laughs> um, but I love her. I, I use her for open sew. Um, she's as again, everything I'm sure you guys know, but I'm so excited. Um, she is awesome to travel with and just um yeah, so and such a breeze and everything. Um, but yeah, good. I am excited that I was able to show you. Yeah, well, we'll we have some good, um, some wise words for you. So, um, jump off and then jump back on, and you can hear your tips and tricks because there there were some really good ones that came out from our group. So, I will do that. Well, thank okay. you for having me. Thanks for introducing us to Gloria. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll on. talk to you later. See ya. Bye, Bye guys. Katie. Oop, boop, boop. There I am. Okay. All right. She is, that was one shiny featherweight. Don't you, don't you think so? Okay. So here, let's run down our um, tips and tricks here for Katie. So we had a couple people, uh, actually, I think I want to take this off and just do that. Okay. So we had a couple people write in. This is all very, very self-serving, but Kathy Lambach said this. She said, one tip, tip number one, have Darlene on speed dial. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. Uh, two, take a spa day class with Darlene. Uh, her class got me over the fear of breaking my new little 221. And then her third tip is to just have fun, which I love that. <laughs> Judy Campbell said, I have some pictures too. She said, draw an arrow with an ultra fine point Sharpie in the direction that the thread goes in the bobbin case. That's that way, regardless of how many glasses of wine you have on Friday, <laughs> you can get the bobbin in the right way. And the other um, tip that Julie said was a small square of paper behind the needle makes threading it easier. That is a fantastic let me give you guys some the pictures that went along with that. Uh, that's a the paper thing is a good trick. I usually use my finger, but um, but I really like the uh, the the paper trick better. Let me let's see. Julie sent that in email there. Okay, here's her picture. So there's the paper behind the needle. A fantastic way of of uh, seeing your needle hole. And then this is her bobbin casing thing to show which way the thread goes. Julie, super good trick, girl. Super good trick. All right. So now we're going to go to Kathy Zoka. Said the, 
the video show that she showed you how to verify the stitches per inch. That's a good one. Um, Cause you, in quilting, you wanna have a 10 to 11 stitch per inch um, size. And unfortunately, because the machines are so old and they've probably been disassembled and reassembled many times, many times over their life, the, none of the uh, factory settings are still intact. So that's a great idea. Okay, Kathy Zoka's tip is showing how to set the upper thread tension. Um, yes, that's another good one. The quick tension method is a good one. Another good video to watch. I can walk you through it, Miss Katie. And putting some blue tape on the cover plate for the stitch regulator to know where neutral is. That is also a good tip and trick. Gosh, you guys are good. Neutral is important, Katie, when you want to do uh, free motion quilting. It's where your feed dogs are just going up and down. They're not pushing backwards and forwards. And neutral is kind of like not reverse, not forward, but kind of dead horizon. Um, okay, let's see what else. Um, Kathy, oh, Ray has everybody's uh, tip and trick in, or the work in progress. So that that's kind of what we have for you for tips and tricks. Not, not to like have a shameless plug here, but I do really recommend a class to kind of show you how to take care of the machine, how to do the oil points, how to take care of the finish. A lot of the value of our machines are in their, are in their obviously working and, uh, and then the condition of the finish. So, oh, let's see. <laughs> I put my bobbin case in so it shapes a D for Darlene, of course, of course. <laughs> and Mel said earlier in the show that featherweights tend to be like potato chips. You just can't have one. So to be on the lookout for your next one. <laughs> Hi, Molly. Oh, she, she said, oh, darn, I missed sending in my work in progress. <laughs> All right. Um, let me go to the first slide here. Ray's been a busy girl. So we have Kathy Zoka and Addie Washington sent off that beautiful, it looks like a table topper. That is fun. Let me see if she has any Kathy's. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Kathy Zoka, where is she? Oh, best trick. Yep. Do, 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 do. Kathy um, I don't think that picture is of Kathy Zoka's. Hmm. I think there are a lot of video. Oh, yes, yes, yes. When is the next spa day online? Kathleen Rogers wants to know. Um, it is October 14th, I believe is the next virtual spa day. Um, I think that first picture is not, um, is not Kathy Zoka's picture. Um, hold on. Let me. This wasn't the way to do this, I guess. So Beth, um, Beth, our buddy, is in Michigan, and her and Margie and Shirley and Irene are spending Irene's birthday week at a cabin sewing on our featherweights. She says, so much fun. Today we started a small pumpkin wall hanging, and now it's time to jump in the lake, and then it'll be wine time. <laughs> I want to come to the lake. That's awesome. Um. Let's see. And then Minnie, Minnie sent the most beautiful picture of her featherweight. I think we're just going to go back and do this the old fashioned way because that is not working. Okay. Um, so here's Beth's lake picture. That looks pretty spectacular if I do say so myself. Um, and then we have, uh, let's see, got the table. Oh, do, 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 do. Here's the girls. Here's Beth's best friends here. They are sewing on their featherweights on the uh, late on the patio. It looks like, well, that looks like fun. Oh, Christine says my featherweight has a few chips in it. Is that okay? Absolutely. It's not going to do anything. They're just little, don't we all have our own little chips? <laughs> I call them beauty marks. <laughs> all right. So that's Beth's. Um, Tavi. Did it says I have a few more borders left. This will be for my five year old's Christmas gift. She loves horses. Tavi, look at how sweet that is. She must love purple and horses because that's a lot of purple. It's a lot of purple. Um, oh, oh my gosh. Uh, Odie sent so Odie and her husband Eddie are working on a quilt for I think it's his son's wedding present, I believe is what she said. And and Eddie has started uh cutting out. So here is Odie's husband Eddie. 
cutting out. And there's another gentleman quilting picture in here because Kathy's husband also has started quilting. Hang on one sec. Let me run down. So this is Minnie. Y'all sit down. This is so fun. Minnie has sent her featherweight. Look at her turquoise. It's like Robin's egg blue. Minnie, totally gorgeous. Totally gorgeous. Oh, wait, where'd she go? Wait, there was one more picture. Oh, here's some more blocks that Minnie did. Very nice, friend. Way to go. Um, let's see. Sandy's work in progress. Oh, by the way, that quilt, that wasn't Sandy Martin's quilt. And, and wasn't uh, Sandy Reese's quilt. It was Sandy Fowler's quilt in Arizona last week. <laughs> um, Sandy Barton says, uh, hey, Darlene. So I have a finished quilt. Yippee. Several months ago, my local quilt shop got this denim print in. She challenged several of us to make something. This is my version. It will be our car blanket. What the heck is a car blanket? Is that like car cookies? I know what car cookies are. I don't know what a car blanket is. <laughs> Here is, uh, here is Miss Sandy's Sandy Martin. <laughs> Sandy is a popular name. Look at that. That's a great use of that denim quilt or the denim fabric. Looks good, girl. Looks good. Uh, let's see. Who else? Shan. Oh, the one that was marked Kathy Zoka's was Shannon's. This pattern is called Log Cabin Toss by Tied with a Ribbon. It's part of a quilt as you go on Instagram. Ooh, love this. Way to go, Shan. Oh, I can't get it to. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. All right, let's see here. Um, Fran uh, sent us a picture of her featherweight working on, like, the most beautiful green quilt I've ever seen in my entire life. Way to go, Fran. That's really lovely. She says, putting binding on my first sit down quilting panel, used urban elements, tear away, panto. Not bad for a first try. I think that's spectacular. Let's see here. And then Kathy, doo -doo -doo, where's Kathy Zoka? So Paul is, has his own feather right now which I think is pretty darn adorable. And he is working on his first quilt. And I think I even have, oh, it's a panel quilt. That's really pretty, Paul. Oop, oops, sorry. Very pretty, Paul. All right. Let's see. Um, Miss Mel sent a, um, sent a picture via text message. Mel is our honorary clothing constructor in the group. I think she's fantastic. And y'all, it's Tula. So do I need to say any more? <laughs> this is out of Tula's line work. It's like a sleeveless blouse. Mel, way to go, way to go. All right. I think I got everybody. Did I get everybody? If I did not get you, please send me a message and I will put you up on my story. I apologize. <laughs> Get in, everyone is smashing it, and I love seeing the featherweights at work. Me too, Polly. Me too. Let's see. Um, <laughs> oh, Corey, you sent the work in progress. Hold on, wait. The uh, Facebook message. Let me look. I can grab it. Ooh, bless you, Ray. Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. Hang on. Oh, what happened here? Not me. Uh, switch accounts. Featherweight doctor. Oh, here she is. Ooh, look at this. She says, here is a quick pick of my work in progress using a She Who Sews calendar panel. I've cut it up to make mini or to make monthly mini quilts for my studio with various techniques, planning on free motion quilt quilting these with my new 222. Fancy. <laughs> All right. Here is Miss Corey from Canada. Bernadette, you've got competition for the polite Canadian role on the show. Those are gorgeous. Way to go, Corey. Nice job. All right. Oh, your shirt will have sleeves next week. Okay. I thought maybe because you lived in Mississippi, they were going to be, it was going to be sleeveless. 
everybody is so talented in this group. You all never cease to amaze me. Never cease to amaze me. Um, I wanted to just, this is a little bit of a shameless plug. We've got some kits up tonight. Uh, I did my last restock of Tula Pink Parisville Fat Quarter Packs. After these four are gone, that's it. We sold out so quickly, I was able to get a few more of them. But um, but that's going to be it after these four are gone. So if you did, if you missed out, there's four more up on the website now. Tula Pink's Parisville Deja Vu Fat Quarter Packs. Kathleen says, love the abacus behind you. Looks like wood, it is wooden uh, spools. That's exactly what this is. This used to be when the pandemic first started and I kind of threw some stuff up on my wall. So I wasn't standing behind a blank wall. Um, this, I bought this here, like before, way before we even moved here at an antique store. And I just love it. It makes me happy. It just makes me happy. <laughs> what if quilt camp becomes spouse camp? You know, it's funny you say that because I've had a couple people want to bring their husbands and I was thinking about maybe planning some outings for the guys to do while the ladies are sewing this year's this next year's quilt camp in 2023 is going to be three full days of sewing. I've already reserved the venue. I believe we're June 1st, whatever the Thursday is. I think it's June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, 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 2nd, 3rd, yeah, 4th. I think it's June 4th, 1st through the 4th. I'm going to be sending out an email to those people who went, attended the first quilt camp last year, and they will have first right of refusal on their spots. And so then I will know how many spots I have to fill, but I do have a wait list of people waiting. So yes, Miss Pam, there are three or ones in the orphanage, four of them. <laughs> Did you get yourself one of the, I, Molly? Do not be a bad Tula Pink influence. I know exactly what you're asking me. Did you get yourself one of those hairspray kits, Darlene? I got the email and I saw, first thing I saw was the sticker with her, like with her tattooed ring fingers. And because I have that machine, I have the Tula Pink uh, Bernina. And I was like, oh, I want the sticker. And then it was like, you had to get all of the rest of it too. And I was like, well, I don't really need all the rest of it. <laughs> But I know what you're talking about, girl. I know what you're talking about. Oh, Katie's on uh, over on YouTube. She says, fantastic feather rate tips. Thanks for sharing them. Can't wait to learn more from all of you. Thanks for having me, Darlene. Sorry for the silly internet issues. No big deal. No big deal. We were just happy to be bad influences. <laughs> Let's see. Corey uh, in Canada said, I worked on that with five ladies, her blocks at a lake, at a friend's lake house for her birthday. I need friends with lake houses. Clearly I am missing out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Bernadette says, great job, everyone. <clears throat> um, Therese says, late again, but I'm here. Hi, Therese. Um, oh, no, someone has to take care of the pupper. Maybe you could find someone to take care of the pupper and then Paul can come. There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I think that's all I have for you today. Again, thank you so much for everybody's kindness for Judy. Um, really, really, really meant a lot to her, especially, but also me. You guys are fantastic. Um, I am really excited for tomorrow. I, uh, I, I think it's going to be pretty grand. So if you are local to the Sandpoint area, we are located at 400 Schweitzer Plaza Drive. Our grand opening party is tomorrow night from five to seven. There'll be some chocolate and some wine. And my teachers, my new teachers are gonna be here, the garment constructor and also the hand quilting gal. So if anybody has any questions about their upcoming classes, they'll be here to answer those. I think it's gonna be fun and fantastic. <laughs> oh, Judy, we love you. That's terrible. She's, I don't know if you guys saw it on, on YouTube, but she said that she's in a full leg cast now. Can't walk for two months. I would be going crazy. I would be going crazy. Thank you, Elizabeth, for the congratulations. Tomorrow will be a fabulous day. I have every confidence. All right, guys, I'll be back here tomorrow night at 430 Pacific for a walkthrough of the finished store. Um, please join me on Facebook and YouTube under Featherweight Doctor. Kathleen, I will be live tomorrow at 430. Yes.
Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. A reboot. That's what this is. This is a reboot. 